there, it's Rose. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Sticker Saturday. So if you are new, Sticker Saturday is an open collab that I host every week. And the point of the collab is just to encourage you to craft using your stickers. And they can be any stickers in any way that you like to craft. And you can even do sticker hauls if you'd like, but you can use your stickers on cards, on tags, in journals, ATC cards, memory decks cards, um, home decor, um, any way that you like to craft and just use the stickers that you have. And I'm sure if you're a crafter, you've picked up a package of stickers or two or three or more. And so it's just a fun collab, a great way to use those supplies that you have in your craft room. So for me this week, I'm using this Hello Hobby sticker by number book. Now, usually I'm showing stickers that I've picked up at Michael's or Joann's or Hobby Lobby, and um, this is very different for me. I happen to be in Walmart. I'm in the process of reorganizing my craft studio, and so I was looking for some of those um, storage cases that hold 12 by 12 paper pads and um, ephemera and I happened to be in the craft aisle looking around and I came upon this sticker by number book. So this is a new idea to me. I've never tried one of these before. I've seen larger books similar to this in like Barnes and Noble and um, didn't uh, pay too much attention to them. But when I saw these really pretty designs on the sticker number book, I thought it was very intriguing. So. I thought I'd give it a look, and this has 36 pieces, 20 sticker by number pages, 13 sticker sheets, and three answer key sheets. So let's take a look. Um, I thought the designs were very pretty. They're on a glossy paper, and you can see some watermelon, seashells, some flowers, and cactus. And then um, on this page, there's some hot air balloons, cat, ice cream, and some lovebirds. I thought those were really pretty. And of course, the classic VW bug there, van, flamingo, some bees, and flowers. The designs were just beautiful and um, very summery and springy to me. I love this beach umbrellas feathers and peacock and um, pineapple. So I thought they would be fun to make. And the way it works is that the stickers are all cut apart, sort of like mosaic pieces. And I love that because for a long time I did mosaics. So that kind of design is very appealing to me and making a picture with mosaic stickers I thought would be a lot of fun and just very enjoyable. So you get all of these sticker sheets and they are numbered at the top and they coordinate with the numbers on the um, pages of the picture. And then all the stickers are numbered as well. So you just put the sticker on top of the number that's on the picture and then you'll make the scene. And the colors are absolutely gorgeous. Look at the colors of these stickers. So I thought this would be fun, kind of a fun project to take on the go, do in front of the TV, or maybe take out by the pool. And I just thought it would be very relaxing, kind of not really thinking about it, but it just a fun craft and you make a beautiful picture at the end. Plus the colors are gorgeous. And, um, I just loved the picture designs. I bet this is the pineapple. And of course, I'm guessing this is the peacock. <laughs> so that's a quick um, little look at the stickers. And then here's one of the picture pages. So this is number one with the fruit, with the watermelon and cherry and oranges. And I thought that would be really pretty to put together. And they are on a glossy page, which hopefully you can see that they are really pretty background designs. They would be fun to add in a journal, um, maybe even as a journal cover, or of course you could 
fussy cut them out, add them to cards or other projects. Here's the cactus and flowers. And here's those hot air balloons. Look at the really pretty background that they made for the hot air balloons. Beautiful sky background with clouds. So all of the pictures are very appealing and would be very fun to do. I'm looking forward to it and trying it out. So it's something new, a new way to craft with stickers, a little bit different way to use up some stickers and just um, enjoy putting them down on these um, pre-designed sheets. So let's get into it and I'll show you what I created with this sticker by number book. Okay, so let me show you what I put together from the little sticker by number book. I did this page here with the fruit. I did not start with this page. This is actually number one in the book. I started later in the book, but then I went back to this one. This was a lot easier to put together. Now, a couple of things about this little book. The numbers where the stickers are are pretty small, so you're gonna have to look carefully to make sure that you have the right number. It's kind of a combination of like putting together a puzzle and doing diamond painting. That's what I would equate the whole thing to. So there's a lot of little fine detail that you wouldn't expect in this. I thought it would go a lot quicker than it did, but it's super fun while you're doing it. It's just that you have to pay attention to the numbers because it's not in any sequential order like you'd think that it would be. In other words, there might be like 48 here and then next to it might be two. Um, this one might be 35 and this one might be 11, which I thought was kind of interesting. It, it makes it almost like putting together a puzzle. So I did this one. Um, this one, probably my, one of my favorite ones. But then let me backtrack a minute here. I did the fruit, then I did the seashells and not in this order, but I love the colors of the seashells. I really wanted to do this page. And I didn't do the cactus, but I did this flower, which I really like. This was the last one that I did. And I did the little lovebirds because I thought they were so cute. And I also did the ice cream. So I still have a lot of other pages in this book. Um, all in all, it was a very fun way to use stickers in a different way. Um, and I've never tried anything like this before. So like, leave me a comment and let me know if you've used one of these um, sticker by number books. Um, and um, yeah, I found this one at Walmart, but like I said, I've seen them also in, you know, Barnes and Noble, some of the other bookstores or places where you might find adult coloring um, or puzzle books, they would have these. So um, thank you so much for joining me. Remember, Sticker Saturday is an open collab. Everyone is welcome to join in. Just please use the hashtag Sticker Saturday and tag me either in your title or your description box so that I can check out the video that you have created as well. If you're new to my channel, I hope you will consider hitting the subscribe button and ringing the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.